With 263 sunny days a year and an average temperature of about 63 degrees Fahrenheit, Encinitas is bikeable almost all year round. Our coastal community is becoming more bike friendly every year, but it's a group effort. Some of our friends who use sustainable transportation have messages to share when it comes to safety and fun. Wearing a helmet while bicycling is required by law if you're under 18. On a Type 3 e-bike, all riders and passengers must wear a helmet regardless of their age. We'll teach you about the different types of e-bikes shortly. Remember, helmet laws apply to passengers too. Visibility is really important for cyclists. Your bike should have reflectors in front and back, as well as on the wheels and pedals. Wear bright colored clothing, and use a white front light and a red rear light when you ride, especially at night. Being seen is an essential part of staying safe on the roads. Bicyclists have the same rights and responsibilities on the road as people driving motor vehicles. Ride in the same direction as traffic and obey the first come first served rules at intersections. Interact respectfully with your fellow road users by making eye contact, waving, pointing, or ringing your bell. Riding predictably keeps you and other road users from having to react fast or make sudden movements. The way you ride impacts the flow of traffic all around you. Signal your intentions and choose the correct lane for the direction that you're headed. There are a few different types of e-bikes, which are distinguished by their power assist system, maximum powered speed, and where they can be ridden. One of the best things about e-bikes is that the additional power makes it easy to move cargo or cruise up hills. They're great alternatives to a car because they can take you long distances with less effort than a non-electric powered bicycle. The ability to maintain higher speeds with minimal effort makes many riders feel more confident sharing the road with motor vehicles. Only some e-bikes are designed to lawfully carry passengers. Passengers who are under 18 need to wear a helmet, and if you're riding a Type 3 e-bike, all riders need to wear a helmet regardless of their age. Always ride lawfully and respectfully, but especially if you have a passenger on board. Their life is in your hands. Bike riders should usually try to match the average speed of the other people around them. If you're bicycling in a place with lots of pedestrians and you don't have much room to pass, stop riding and become a pedestrian. The most common places for collisions are at intersections. When you're on a sidewalk, every road, alley, driveway, and storefront is an intersection you have to safely navigate. That's one reason why biking on sidewalks is not advised and even illegal in some business districts.
Type 3 e-bikes are not allowed on Class 1 multi-use paths. Keep your speed low when riding in separated bikeway facilities or around pedestrians. With higher power comes new responsibilities and restrictions. When a bike lane is available and you are riding slower than the speed of traffic around you, use the bike lane. You may leave the bike lane to pass other riders, turn left, avoid obstacles, or to avoid turning vehicles. A shero indicates that a lane is too narrow to be safely shared side by side by a cyclist and a motorist. The painted marking indicates that cyclists may ride towards the middle of the lane to discourage unsafe passing. Even if there is no shero, cyclists are allowed to use the full lane. When riding through a roundabout, act like a vehicle driver, yield to traffic in the roundabout, and when it's clear, ride through and signal when you're about to exit. Motorists should treat cyclists just like a slow-moving vehicle or a tractor. This means signaling and completely switching lanes to pass, but only when it is safe to do so. Using active transportation and going by bike are great ways to get around, experience your community up close, and help preserve the health of our planet. You also get the added bonus of saving money and reducing CO2 emissions, all while boosting your mental and physical well-being. It's everyone's responsibility to respectfully share the roads and trails so that everyone can get where they're going safely.